back this year driving school tv today we're gonna do some roundabouts so um i'm gonna take you guys to the charleston roundabouts today uh, just watch and learn um, i'm gonna show you guys the best way the easiest way how to do it watch a couple of times you're gonna be fine after this uh after watching this video enjoy the ride guys so guys um i'm gonna go to the charleston roundabout from the actual test center west disbury so this is the way out towards uh, the Shaws roundabout. Examiner is going to ask you to turn right at the traffic light, usually. So make sure you check your mirror, send to me right mirror. Make sure you do your checks, do your signals. And make sure you stop behind the line. And always um, make sure you're on in first gear. So we're going to do the Shaws roundabouts today. Um, I'm going to show you guys uh, what lane you should be for the first or second exit. Uh, or the third exit. What? Where do you? Where should you signal? Um, what lane should be? How far are you away? You're gonna signal the speed. So um, it's not that hard if you have done it a couple of times. I advise you to do about five lessons, maybe ten lessons if you're struggling. So once you turn right here, a lot of people they stay in the right lane, so make sure you stay in the left lane. Always stay in the left lane, because the right lane is for right turn only, as you can see. Traffic light is nice and green, so from this point the examiner will say, after this light, go one lane to the right. So, you're going to check your mirrors, and you're going to make a lane change from here, make sure nobody's next to you, and make sure your signals go off at this point because a lot of people they leave them on so make sure you cancel your signals then what he will say is so this is the uh, second traffic light so at that traffic light there in front of us where the white van two vans are we can turn right so there's three lanes over there it's two lanes over here and it's gonna turn into three lanes at the next traffic light so we're gonna be in the most right lane because we're gonna turn right so no point to stay in the middle lane, no point to stay in the left lane because uh, those lanes are going for straight so we're going to stay in the right lane. Traffic light is green, I'm going to wait a little bit, I'm going to edge a bit forward I'm not going to signal yet I'm not going to signal yet until they start moving I'm going to wait a little bit longer over here to make sure that this van can go and at this point I'm going to signal right so make sure you check your mirrors first and then signal look at the road markings on the floor, you can see that this lane is for turning right only so yeah you need to be on this lane then once you turn right we're gonna turn right and make sure there's no one coming because that van is quite far away so I'm gonna turn once you turn right always start from the left lane because that's the most appropriate lane and then at this point the examiner could say move one lane to the right because this lane goes to the motorway don't move yet because traffic light is red it's not nice to it's not good to make lane changes when the traffic light is red so the best way to make lane changes is um, when the traffic light is green because when you're making lane changes it's nice to have the car moving so at this point I'm gonna check my mirrors I'm gonna signal and I can see a nice gap next to me so I'm gonna make the lane change slowly 30 miles road stay in this middle lane because the left lane takes us to the motorway and the examiner doesn't want you to go to the motorway so he's gonna ask you to stay on this lane and make sure you drive nice and 30 or 28 or depends really of the traffic see on this left hand side sign you can see that those to right the road, those right lanes will go straight down so you can see a 40 miles road from this point a lot of people they start speeding up from here already don't do that please because I've seen many people failing for that so make sure you pass the sign first so you're passing the sign right now from this point you're going to speed up to about 30 8, 39 and then you're gonna make a gear 4 change you're gonna cruise in gear 4 just cruise in gear 4 stay in this left lane here so 
no point going to right lane, nothing is happening on our lane, so this is at the moment the appropriate lane. Um, soon there is a new lane joining us from the left hand side and the speed also will change to 50 miles per hour. I advise you to stay in this lane for a bit. Pass the 50 sign first. So speed up first after you passed it. You can see the new lane is joining us on the left hand side. So we're gonna speed up first. Don't make a lane change yet. So speed up first. Speed up first to about 45, 46. Then make a gear 5 change at this point. And then you can see when the left lane becomes clear, go back to the most appropriate lane, which is the left lane. So I'm gonna signal. The examiner is gonna ask you as well to drive on the most appropriate lane at this point. Because the next exit, that's the exit we're gonna take, and that exit will take us to Sharson roundabout. Because if you stay in this center lane or this middle lane or the right lane, it will take you to the motorway and they will never ask you to go to the motor. So I'm gonna take this exit here. I'm gonna make a nice smooth lane change. Make sure you don't slow down when you make your lane changes. And then we're gonna go towards the roundabout. So this roundabout, I'm gonna ask you, well, we're gonna go to the first, we're gonna take the first exit, we're gonna check the first exit out. As you can see, the first exit will give, uh, will take you to Bencho, Charleston, and Chido. So I'm gonna do my checks from here. I'm gonna signal from here as well. Let's say about 15 car lengths because we are driving quite fast. So we kind of signal a bit early. You can see it's from here, it's gonna turn 30. Make sure you go nice and slowly, approach it in second gear. Because when you approach in second gear, you can look around you or you can do observations properly. So I can see there's a nice gap there. I'm gonna take this gap here. Make sure the signal stays on until you fully took, take your exit. So exit done. And then from here you can cancel your signal. Usually it cancels automatically. Make sure you approach the roundabout in second gear and about 15 miles per hour. So approach the roundabout in second gear, about 15 miles per hour, you're gonna be fine. So I'm driving 27 now, we're gonna take the first exit again. So I'm gonna start slowing down at this point. I'm not gonna signal yet because there's a, a left junction here. So I'm gonna do your signals over here. So about, again, 10 car lengths, 15 car lengths away. Approach in second gear, about 15 to 16 miles per hour. Nobody coming and then you're gonna keep going and then on the roundabout, the best speed to drive is about 20 miles per hour until you take the exit. Once you took your exit, then you can drive a bit faster to 30 miles per hour. So again, there's a next roundabout coming up. We're gonna take the first exit again, Charleston in Desro Estate. This is a traffic light controlled roundabout. We're taking the first exit. So do your checks from here two signals from here and start slowing down and again we're gonna approach in second gear however because we're gonna stop soon you can approach it in gear one this time traffic light is green a lot of people they stop on this traffic light please do not stop because it's green light you have priority here make sure you take your priority make sure the signal stays on and about maximum 20 miles per hour take the exit once you've done your exit so it's an hazard here, I'm gonna slow down a bit. Okay, yeah. Once you take your exit, you're gonna make sure you can your signal and then you can drive a bit faster to 30 miles per hour. So this whole area is 30 miles per hour. Make sure, uh, keep it on that speed, especially when you go here, downhill. Okay, let's go back again to the roundabouts, but this time we're gonna take the third exit. Okay, we're gonna go back to the Sarsen roundabout again. Um, but this time we're gonna take the third exit and I'm gonna show you what lane you should be on the third exit what signal from where you're gonna signal because it's not that easy especially when you the first roundabout we, which we're gonna approach now the examiner might ask you follow the signs to Altringham or follow, follow the signs to Chester after the bridge here you will see the signs to Chester and Altringham they will be both on the right hand side so it will be the third exit however the road markings might be very unclear today uh, so you can see this the signs to chester liverpool bolton and Altrincham. they're all taking the third exit a lot of people they be they go to the right lane where the lorry is driving don't do that make sure you, after the traffic light you're gonna check your mirror signal 
and you're gonna position your car on the right lane about there and make sure you position properly on the right lane because a lot of people just take in the middle I know the road markings are very poor here so just imagine a road marking there and just make sure you stay in the right lane because we stopped we're gonna go in gear one not in gear two this time especially we're up here a little bit so it's a bit on a hill gear two will not can can't handle this place so make sure you go in gear one nobody coming on the right so we can go and then you can stick in his right lane at this point usually the signal cancels because your, your steering becomes a little bit straight so make sure your signal stays on that's the first exit there on the left hand side is m56 we're gonna keep the signals on it's a traffic light controlled roundabout so make sure the traffic light is still green okay it's turning to red so i'm gonna stop about there behind the line and when the traffic light goes to green we can just go and and take the exit take the third exit however um that's not the third exit in front of us that's the second exit so at this point what you could do is you could make a lane change to the left lane to take the third exit which is the hard way however if you want to make it easier for yourself just stick in the right lane you don't have to make a lane change you can stick in this right lane and then after this light you can signal left and take the exit from the right lane which is allowed this is allowed I don't know why a lot of people they try to make the lane change and sometimes it's not possible to make the lane change and they make it difficult for themselves so make sure you once you take the exit stick in the right lane for a bit and then go back to the appropriate lane which is now a nice gap there so I'm gonna wait for this blue car first because he was speeding up so we're gonna take this exit and you can see on this sign here Birmingham Preston Chester Manchester and Altrincham the all second exit a lot of people say it's the third exit well there is no third exit here there's only two exits there make sure it's the second exit for the second exit it's after 12 o'clock at this roundabout however again you well you can stay in the left lane it's actually easier to stay in the left lane look on your right I'm gonna do it from the left lane first and then later on I'm gonna do it from the right lane so stick in this left lane follow the bend nice and wide and then after the first exit you're gonna check your mirrors and you're gonna signal left from here and look how easy that was we never we never even made the lane change and then at this point the examiner might ask you follow the signs to Manchester city center which is the third exit if you can see underneath Bolton so we're gonna make a lane change over here do it early do it nice and early because if you do it later then you might get stuck so do it early and at this point I check my mirrors again make sure you signal and you need to be careful over here a lot of people they hit this curb here so make sure you follow the curb and go nice and slowly so about 15 miles to 20 miles per hour again and you can look on the right there's nobody coming and I can go the speed is so important if you have a, a nice approaching speed in second gear so about 15 miles per hour is a very nice speed to approach the roundabout you're gonna be fine because you, your your reaction will be better uh, your decision can be it, it will become easier so I'm gonna take this next exit here so I'm gonna check my mirrors again I'm not gonna make a lane change yet there's no need for the lane change at this point I can drive 50 miles per hour I'm gonna speed up to 50 speed up to 50 speed up a little bit more don't make early gear changes and then from here I'm gonna make a gear change I'm gonna signal right from here look on my right mirror then I'm gonna join the dual carriageway with about 45 miles per hour and then you can speed up to about 50 if possible so let's go back again to the Charleston roundabout so I'm gonna go back again to the Charleston roundabout and I'm gonna take the third exit again because that's the hardest uh, exits over here we're taking the third exit uh, but this time I am gonna make a lane change to the left lane when you're taking the exit because that's a uh, possibility before I showed you that you should what well, you could you, you you can do it without making a lane change however uh, this time I'm gonna make it I'm gonna do it with the lane change if you do prefer to make the lane change it's also possible just make it a bit harder so if you can see here again Chester Liverpool Bolton Altrincham it's the third exit I'm gonna stay in the right lane I'm gonna do my checks from here do my signals from here position my car on the right lane make sure you approach about 15 miles per hour in gear 2 
you can see there's nobody coming on the right so we can go in one go and best gear to approach it gear two again and i was driving about 15 miles per hour when i was approaching it. it's so easy when you do that in 15 miles per hour so this we passed the first exit that's the second exit after the second exit i'm gonna make the lane change i'm gonna check my mirrors i'm gonna signal nobody's next to me so i can make the lane change from here make sure you cancel your signal for a bit and then signal again because otherwise they're gonna think you're taking the, the second exit over there so i made the lane change it's a bit harder but it's allowed to do it it's, if you can make the lane change do it because then you that means you stay on the appropriate lane which is also fine and then you will come to the second roundabout the second round was very confusing a lot of people they think it's the third exit for for Chester and Altringham but it's not there's only two exits here if you can see the first exit is to Bencher and the second exit to goes to M6 Preston Chester Manchester and Altringham so we take in the second exit you can see 100 yards roundabout coming so from here I would slow down to about 20 miles per hour uh, no signals required here because we're in the left lane and look on the right you can, uh, you can stick in the left lane no problem after you take in the first exit again you can check your mirrors and signal make sure it's taken take it nice and wide because a lot of people they, they go a bit inside and they get troubles with these cars but look I'm driving about 18 miles power through this bend and then I'm gonna start speeding up it's so much easier when you drive about between 15 to 20 miles power during the bends on the roundabout it makes things way easier Again, you can see the roundabout taking the third exit. We're gonna make sure you're gonna go to the right lane. Do it early, take your mirrors properly. And then we're gonna take the third exit again with the lane change to take the third exit. So after the second exit, I'm gonna make a lane change. And well, we can't approach in second gear from here because of this car stopped so nobody coming so I can go one go and again and drive about 15 to 20 miles power on the roundabout and there's a car in front of me so I'm gonna hold back a little bit they're driving they're driving about 10 miles power so I'm gonna drive even less make sure you got a nice distance away from them so after the second exit so this is the second exit where the lorry is going I'm gonna ch check my mirrors I'm gonna signal left I'm gonna drift to the left lane and I'm gonna take the exit from the left lane look this is also allowed which is also good however at this point you need to start speeding up a lot in the lower gear so in in the third or second gear speed up a lot once you have about 40 miles speed then you're gonna go to gear four make the lane change do the lane change early because usually they ask you to make the lane change anyways because they're not gonna take the exit right because that takes us towards Manchester city center and Didsbury a lot of people they stay in this lane and they do it they figure out last minute that to, do, to make the lane change but that's way too late if that happens you might as well stick in the left lane and take the exit okay um, so let's go back again so I'm gonna show you from every single angle how to do the roundabouts for the for this one for the Sars roundabouts so this time, you know, I'm going to take this exit to Charleston and Altrincham and probably I think that's how you pronounce it. So we're going to take the third exit this time. So a lot of people, they drift with the, to the right without checking. So make sure you double check your set right mirror. And we're going to take the third exit to Altrincham here. Make sure you do your checks early, do your signals early. About 10 to 15 miles, 15 cars lengths and approach again in second gear about 15 to 20 miles per hour you can see the speed is changed to 30 and because I go I'm going 15 to 20 miles per hour I had a very nice clearance and very nice uh, well, time to decide so that's the first exit this one over here is the second exit I'm gonna check my mirrors I'm gonna make the lane change this time because nobody's next to me if nobody's next to you and it's proper clear just make the lane change it's fine but if no, but, uh, I mean, if there's a lot of traffic next to you, you can take the exit from the right lane. It's so much easier if you take the exit from the right lane. So don't force yourself to make the lane change. A lot of people they even stop on the roundabout. That's not allowed. Make sure you never stop. 
okay. Um, so I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna go back again to the roundabouts. I'm gonna show you from every angle where the examiner could potentially take you from. I'm gonna take you there, so. So this time I'm coming from the Altrincham side and I'm gonna again uh, go to the Sharson roundabout. Um, I'm gonna take the first exit this time because uh, they could potentially take, ask you to go uh, to the first exit towards city center. Um, from this side it's quite hard because there's a weird bend before you reach the roundabout. Always try to look at the signs before you approach it. There is a big sign coming up in green. You can see uh, Manchester City Centre is on the left hand side below M60 if you can see that. So, and you can see that everybody there is, bra is braking already. We're going to do our mirror checks from here, taking the first exit. Signal left and then approach again in about 15 to 20 miles per hour because look how easy it's going to become. So I'm driving about. 15 now and I'm gonna follow the bend nice make sure you're in second gear and I can't go in one go so I'm just gonna stop over here and make sure I go back to gear one and that's a nice gap I'm gonna take the gap from here and you're gonna speed up again to about 30 miles per hour in gear two then you go back to gear three and then about 40 miles per hour in gear three and then go to gear four then you're gonna start making the lane change. So I'm gonna go back again to the shots around the roundabout and this time I'm gonna take, I'm gonna come from a different side of the roundabout. Okay, um, this is maybe the third time already that I'm going back to the shots around roundabout. Um, I'm gonna come from a different area this time. I'm gonna take different exits as well. So as you can see, take the exit to Charleston and Alger game again. And this time I'm gonna take the first exit at the roundabout towards Bencho and Charleston, as you can see over here. So I'll do the checks and signals right here at the sign. Do the checks and signals from here as well. Make sure you approach about 15 to 20 miles per hour in gear two. You can also see here at this point it becomes 30 miles per hour. But just when you're approaching the roundabout, it's about 15 to 20 miles per hour. As soon as you take the exit, then you can speed up to 30 again. Because when you go slower on the roundabout, it's easier to take the exits. And then, um, at this roundabout, the examiner might ask you to take the exit towards Bencho. So Bencho is like, a, it's like a right turn, can you see that? So I'm going to make the lane change to the right lane because it's the second exit however it's after 12 o'clock and also it looks like a third exit so we're gonna stay in the right lane approach again in second gear with the right signal this time and this is a bit confusing exit because sometimes they might ask you to take this exit it's a very confusing exit stay in the right lane i'm driving about 15 miles per hour i pass the first exit a lot of people they go to the inside lane here you see this inside red bit don't go in the inside lane stay in the outside lane. It, it didn't change you just take in the lane in the same lane and after you pass this exit then you're gonna signal left and you can see on the road markings quite hard to see it's faded out however uh, still clear to me and yeah that's how we're gonna do this exit I'm gonna turn left here uh, the next road and then I'm gonna go back and to the different angles so I'm not gonna overtake the side angles and cyclists yes so I'm gonna check my mirrors I'm gonna take it nice and slow no point overtaking him because I'm turning left okay and once you turn left here if you can see here we're entering a 20 zone you can also see on the road markings on the floor speed bumps and it's a build-up area so it's definitely 20 miles per hour So I'm gonna go back again to the roundabouts, but this time I'm coming from a different side. Um, this time I'm gonna follow the signs to uh, Altrincham, then Manchester City Centre. This is one of your potential test routes if you have your test booked in West Disbury. Sometimes in sale as well, they might take you to these roundabouts. 
be honest, if you do it a couple of times, you're gonna be fine. Trust me, it, you just need to do it five whole hours, five lessons. Then you will put, you could master it. Because if you don't know how to do this roundabout, you're definitely gonna struggle when you're reaching other roundabouts. And also on your test, you're gonna struggle. So you might as well make sure you master this roundabout. So sometimes it's gonna ask you to follow a satnav at this point, and that, that's the satnav guides you through uh, the shafts roundabout as well. But I'm gonna turn left here at the end of the road, and then I'm gonna follow the signs to Algingham onto YC City Center. A lot of people they position the car here straight, but make sure you don't do that. Make sure you position your car here on the left hand side a little bit bent already so about there and then when you see a nice gap you go traffic light is changing to red so I'm gonna stop over here okay um, the science is coming up in front of us again I'm gonna take the exit to Sharston sorry the exit to Altringham then city center so try to look as far as you can see when you're driving don't look only uh, in the car in front of you, but try to look like 100 yards or 100 meters ahead of you, so, or as far as you can see, so you can plan things ahead. So uh, that traffic line in front is green, this one is not green. A lot of people, they think like, oh, I'm gonna go, it's green. It's not this one over here, right in front of us, that's our traffic lights, okay? And then you can see the signs over here. We're taking the exit towards Altringham, which is the first exit. I'm gonna stick, I'm gonna keep myself in the left lane. I'm gonna do my checks from here. I'm gonna signal here. So a lot of people failed here at this roundabout because they stop while it's green for oncoming cars for the right. They stop for the oncoming cars on the right. However, it's green light, it's traffic light controlled. Make sure you don't stop. Make sure you don't stop. Make sure you um, go. Okay, then I'm gonna take the exit. It's that weird roundabout again where you have two exits. I'm gonna take the exit to Altringham, which is on the right. Let's do it this time from the right lane. So if you do decide to be in the right lane, make sure you do your checks and signal early. But if you do decide to stick in the right lane, you might as well also signal right here because the traffic or the roundabout, this exit, it's after 12 o'clock. So signal right if you are in the right lane. Start slowing down approach it in second gear like this learner car is doing it as well you don't have to signal here to be honest i've seen uh, some examiners they say don't signal here some examiners say signal here so i advise you to signal from here after after the first second signal left and then you can make the lane change here but you don't have to like this learner did he didn't make the lane change, which is very good it's very easy if you stick in the right lane and then make sure you cancel and again i was about 18 to 20 miles per hour on the bend on the roundabout as well and no point going back to the left lane here because the examiner is going to set to you follow signs to Altrincham then Manchester city center if you can see there Manchester city center is the third exit so the traffic light is right here so I'm going to slow down when you slow down always have a quick glance in your center mirror and also make sure you can see the tires Talmud. Okay, so I'm taking the third exit, so I'm gonna start signaling about 10 to 15 car lengths ahead of me. So I'm gonna do the checks from here, I'm gonna signal from here. Look, he signaled almost at the same time, the learner. So we're gonna stay in the right lane. And this time I'm gonna approach a bit slower. Not in second gear this time, because I know I'm gonna stop. So I'm gonna approach it in first gear, because I went very very slow I went below 5 below 10 miles per hour definitely go back to gear 1 okay it's a nice gap there I'm gonna take the gap and make sure stick in this right lane because I've got traffic also on my left hand side stick in this right lane past the first exit past the second exit after the second exit you could make the lane change to the left lane however that's the hard way I'm not gonna make a lane change this time I'm gonna stay in the left in the right lane sorry I'm gonna stay in the right lane but make sure to check my mirrors and signal you're gonna speed up over here speed up they're not speeding up quite a lot so I'm gonna stay behind them because they want to join in so I can't speed up right now because of them they're speeding up right now 
and I'm going to try to make the lane change from here. So do my checks, do my signals, and I'm going to make the lane change from here and make sure I drive it nice. And about 45, so between 50 and 49, something like that, because we could, we can do. We can't do the appropriate speed at the moment, we can't do 50 miles per hour because the speed is, I mean, the, the traffic is going nice and fast so make sure you keep keep the car going the right speed because if you drive too slow on this road you could potentially fail for driving too slow because you are actually in hazard on the road if you're driving here at 30 for example for with no reason Okay, as you can see here on both sides in the yellow, a lot of people they start slowing down once you reach there. It's too late. You need to slow down over here already and make sure you drive 40 before you even reach the sign. So I'm driving about 39 now and I didn't even reach the sign yet. So that's perfect. If you pass the sign and then slow down, it's too late and uh, yeah, you're driving against the law, anything against the law is definitely a fail. Make sure you slow down before you reach the sign. So I'm gonna head back towards the test center, uh, the West Eastbury test center. Usually they take you back from this lane, uh, from this road here. Uh, as you can see there is a, on the left hand side there is another lane next to me. And they're gonna join us so make sure uh, you don't slow down a lot. Just release the gas and that will do. You can also see if the speed is changing to 30. Make sure you drive 30 before you reach it. So this was the video about the Sarsen roundabout. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, it was a very, it was a pleasure to make this video. To be honest, if you do have any questions or if you do have anything with you don't understand about the shots around about but you want to see a certain or any kind of videos let me know I'll, I'll try to make another one um, I, I'd make this video about from every single angle what they potentially could let you come from the roundabouts and um, usually most roundabouts are kind of the same not, uh, not all of them are the same but uh, I'll try to do next time a different roundabout uh, make sure you like and subscribe as well and let me know in the notes below if you do want to know anything else Thank you for watching and I hope you smash it on your channel and take care.